Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about Freaks and Geeks. So the show Freaks and Geeks is written by Paul Feig with Judd Apatow executive producing and is set in the 80s following the Freaks and the Geeks of McKinley High School, a fictional high school based in Michigan. There are two parallel storylines that flow throughout the show, one following Lindsay as she transitions from her nerd slash star mathlete to freak slash burnout, and the other following her equally nerdy younger brother Sam and his band of geeks. The show really emphasized realism, and it attempted to capture the angst and awkwardness that most teenagers experience in high school. Supposedly, at an inaugural creative meeting, Judd Apatow made his team write down their most embarrassing teenage experiences, and everything written down was used in the show. High school shows often focus on teen romance, bullying, and the importance of social currency. The characters of Freaks and Geeks face these challenges, but with a refreshing perspective, and they also deal with other very real teenage struggles, such as coming to accept the fact that they might never be a famous musician, or even worse, just be an average person. The characters are all extremely flawed and are just teenagers fumbling around life, trying to figure out who they are and what their purpose is. Often they make mistakes, and often they hurt others. But that is the point, teenagers aren't meant to have all the answers. In fact, they have no answers. So it is natural that they screw up many times and learn to grow in the process. This show is extremely relatable, sharing points of views from both the freaks and the geeks. Lindsay is someone who actively seeks change and wants to grow out of her mathlete status, while her brother Sam pretty much understands and accepts his position in the social hierarchy, at the bottom with the nerds. The variety of characters in the show depict an extremely diverse high school ecosystem, and it's easy to find someone with relatable traits to yourself. The show is also extremely funny, with sharp writing and dialogue that pairs extremely well with its bleak themes and depressing tones. The shit that the characters say is actually what teenagers would say. They are sarcastic, they rag on each other, and they talk a ton of shit. The cast consisted of James Franco, Jason Siegel, Seth Rogen, Linda Cardellini, Busy Phillips, Martin Starr, John Francis Daly, and Sam Levine, all while they were teenagers. All of them having gone to do bigger and greater things, it is amazing that they were able to identify and assemble such a talented cast, and even more amazing that NBC cancelled the show just after one season. I honestly feel that the show was a bit before its time. It was released in 1999, but honestly, it fits in as a modern day comedy. So as the show is cancelled, there's only one season with 18 episodes, about 45 minutes each. It's extremely easy to binge, and it is definitely, definitely worth a watch. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've seen Freaks and Geeks, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And also let me know if you have any other television show recommendations for me to watch. See you guys next time.